Welcome back everyone. Today I am going to be drawing a dude in a suit and that's the gist of it. So my inspiration for this comes from some illustrations by JC Leyendecker that I recently found and I thought they were really cool in which uh, the jacket of this guy in a suit um, blends in with the background so you basically only see the guy's face, hands, you know, the vest and shirt beneath the suit and I thought that was a really cool concept. Originally I was going to do something basically just like that, um, like what you see me doing here, but I think somewhere along the sketch I decided that I would just, I'd draw the suit too, but I'd make it the same color as the background. So uh, with a face, uh, somewhere along as I was sketching, it sort of turned into a more Asian, more Korean sort of looking guy, and so I was like, that's cool, I'll roll with that. Of course, <laughs> I really didn't look up much reference uh, other than like a couple pictures maybe of some K-pop bands. <laughs> um, oops. <laughs> uh, the hair was actually pretty easy because one of the suit references I had pulled up had a cool looking hairstyle in it, that one right there with the blue and the blue vest. Um, yeah, I did decide to draw in the tux too. And the hands, hands were terrible, so I am a dirty, dirty, terrible tracer. Sue me. So, <laughs> my goodness. My dog, he just wants to play. Okay, I'm so sorry, baby. Ow! <laughs> Um, oh, line art. Uh, so I... Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, stinker! He probably wants my oranges, oh my gosh. So I decided to do something really cute with a little bow tie in there. Um, what was fun about this sketch is I actually learned a lot about how to do duxes <laughs> and suits and stuff. Hey! Um, I was sort of experimenting with my style too because I had a few other artists, artists, a uh, few different styles that I had in mind while I was doing this. Uh, just styles that I like, sort of try to incorporate those into my drawing. Um, mainly in the line art stage here while keeping, you know, my own sort of thing going. Um, what am I doing? Oh. My brain just like totally blinked. Um, it still is. <laughs> okay, so basically it's all just line art. There's nothing very interesting happening right now. Um, but I did have a lot of trouble with the face, actually. I couldn't quite figure out how to... I, I don't know, how to capture what I wanted in there. So, I, I don't know, um, the triangle, okay, this, um, uh, what I was talking about earlier, JC Leyendecker's stuff, um, the illustration I was talking about came from a catalog in which, uh, the main sort of illustration guy that would show on each, uh, front page, they called him the Arrow Man or something? Arrow? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't do a ton of research on this, but I just thought, you know, since I'm taking inspiration from this piece, then I might as well do something similar to the arrow, which I thought, you know, a triangle, because I love triangles. Everything in the universe is a triangle, according- Ow! To my dad. My dog just bit me. <laughs> um, I had a bit of trouble deciding- Wow, I think I just totally skipped over that. I had some trouble deciding the color scheme for this because I didn't know if I wanted the vest and bow tie all white or black on a lighter gray or um, gold like this, which after some opinion, uh, I, I chose gold because it matches the triangle thing. And uh, right there, I just pulled up another document to sort of make a bunch of little thumbnails because I didn't know what kind of shading or what kind of lighting I wanted to have. But I, I did like three or four of those and I just chose a pretty simple one. 
Or it's sort of coming from the left hand side, I suppose, front. Um, which was pretty simple. I wanted to sort of focus on simplifying how I drew stuff. Uh, how I drew faces, some of my shading. So I didn't really do like a bunch of different layers of color within um, the, ow, the suit or anything like that. Uh, or anything really. I just basically put one shade layer, except for the skin right there. Um, I think that's the only one where I use two different colors, two different layers for the shading. Um, and I actually did another experimental thing. I'm just trying out a bunch of things. So I realized that cast shadows obviously will be more, um, what's it, more harsh, more sharp. And shadows that just come from, you know, the lighting trailing off into a, the darker side of the object is going to be a lot softer, especially if it's on a soft surface, like on his arm or his leg or something like that. So I think that did turn out well, because I, I don't know why I didn't realize that before. I hadn't, I sort of tried to avoid using um, like airbrush for that sort of thing in like my cell shaded uh, drawings, because I didn't know if it would look sort of weird or tacky or something I wasn't going for, but I think it worked here. Um, I, I did decide that the triangle wasn't just going to be some abstract concept in space, it was going to be an abstract concept in space that was shedding light on his figure. <laughs> and in Photoshop, I dragged that over, gave him beautiful, luscious lips, because, I don't know, K-pop members tend to have really pretty mouths, <laughs> which I did not capture well at all. Um, so I threw the whole thing into Photoshop to liquefy it so many times, so many times. I had no idea what was wrong with this. I still don't quite know what was. I just made his ears super big. What? Um, I don't know. I guess like the proportioning or something, something weird was off in this, especially, I don't know. But I, I gave some more like highlighting and shadow to his cheekbone which I think gave it a little more dimension and I fixed up that triangle after I liquefied everything. Uh, edited, edited the lighting or the, yeah, the lighting, the brightness contrast. And basically right here, I think I'm just touching everything up, uh, fixing the light, you know, adding some glow, uh, patching all those little white specks uh, which I basically just made the image a multiply layer, then filled it white underneath and just put in some black under the white specs, but yeah, I think it's done. So here is the final product. I think it's very simple and cool and definitely what I was going for. <laughs> I hope my voiceover wasn't so terrible. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next video. Goodbye!